Ghost Spider is absolutely worth getting this season on Marvel Snap. I mean, she's not only a great enabler of the move archetype, we're gonna see her a lot outside of move decks too, and I'll explain why in just a bit. But oh man, June is gonna be a crazy month for Marvel Snap. I mean, we got the new card drops, and conquest mode to look forward to where you play these battle mode style games to climb through ranks of increasing difficulty for medals that let you unlock more rewards and with infinity rank unlocking on the last week of the season that's something extra to do if you've already hit infinity on the ladder and are looking for a new challenge of course this month's season pass though ooh, just in time for the spider-man across the spider-verse movie that's out in theaters already and of course it features some of the sickest card backs and variants in recent times now, the season pass card is Ghost Spider. She's from an alternate Earth where Gwen Stacy was the one who got bitten by the radioactive spider and got spider-like powers instead of Peter Parker. In fact, her universe's Peter Parker dies, serving as her Uncle Ben moment, inspiring her to use her powers to protect others. In Marvel Snap, she's a two-cost, three-power card with the ability on reveal, the last card you played moves here. So right away, the move archetype gets the enabler it needs, giving you another option to move cards like Vulture, Human Torch, Multiple Man. But I expect to see her as a tech card in other decks also, because now you can pull cards that you played last turn in a closed off location, or save your big power cards if you suspect your opponent has a counter. Hey, you overcommitted on one lane, maybe on purpose, you can now pull that last card to a different lane to spread that power out on the last round. Oh, the mind games! See, and that's why